This video will discuss how we obtain the enthalpy of reaction at varying temperatures. Okay. In previous videos we looked at how we compute the enthalpy change between two different temperatures in the following way. The enthalpy at temperature 2 minus the enthalpy at temperature 1 is the integral from T1 to T2 of the constant pressure heat capacity integrated with respect to temperature. So we'll remind ourselves that the constant pressure heat capacity is the partial derivative of the enthalpy with respect to temperature at constant pressure. So whenever we have, whenever we have a temperature change here, we have to look at our heat capacity to see how our enthalpy changes versus temperature. So basically this is just the integral from T1 to T2 of dH. Enthalpy being a state function, it doesn't matter what the individual's uh, path we took to get there was. It just matters what the initial and final states are that we have. Okay, so this works similarly for an enthalpy of reaction or enthalpy of transition, whatever kind of enthalpy change you have, because enthalpy is an extensive state function. So the enthalpy of reaction at a given temperature T2 minus the enthalpy of reaction at another temperature T1, so the delta delta enthalpy of reaction there is equal to the integral from T1 to T2 of the change of the reaction change of the constant pressure heat capacity integrated over temperature. So what is this value for the constant pressure heat what is this value for the uh, reaction change in constant pressure heat capacity? So that's equal to the partial derivative of the reaction enthalpy with respect to temperature at constant pressure. So how do we calculate this specific value? So let's say we have um, let's say we have this reaction here, AA plus BB goes to CC plus DD. So the enthalpy of the reaction there is just the stoichiometric coefficients of the products times the enthalpy of formation for all the products minus the same coefficients times the enthalpy of reaction for the reactants. And the change in heat capacity works very similarly. So we have the stoichiometric coefficients of the products times the constant pressure heat capacity of each of the products, minus the same coefficients for the reactants times their constant pressure heat capacities. So the change the reaction change in constant pressure heat capacity is equal to a sum over the products of stoichiometric coefficients times their constant pressure heat capacities minus the same for the reactants. So once we calculate this value, we have delta R Cp of T, and we plug that into our integral, and we integrate from temperature 1 to temperature 2, and that will tell us how our enthalpy of reaction has changed going from T1 up to T2.